This is Tech Talk HSC El Paso. Hello, I'm Veronique Masterson, and I have your news and events for this week. As part of the 17th Annual Rio Grande Trauma Conference and Pediatric Update, TTU HSC El Paso offered a bleeding control course that was open to health professionals and the general public. Uncontrolled bleeding can prove to be fatal, but the bleeding control for the injured or BCON course showed participants how quick reaction as well as applying pressure and a tourniquet to a wound can help keep an injured person alive. There can be delays in getting um, definitive care either at a hospital or even for EMS or 911 services to arrive in a massive hemorrhage situation um, due to a laceration or even amputation, uh, somebody can bleed out in as little as three to five minutes. And this can uh, make the difference between uh, life and death to even make it to definitive care at a hospital. The BCON course coincides with a White House initiative called Stop the Bleed, which was created in response to an increase in active shooter events in the U.S. In addition to educating bystanders on how to save lives after these deadly events, the campaign aims to increase public access to bleeding control kits. In a show of support, TTU HSE El Paso plans to install tourniquets within all campus automated external defibrillator or AED cabinets. I hope that uh, bystanders will feel comfortable and initiate uh, providing aid if they ever did encounter somebody with a life-threatening bleed. Um, and knowing that these kits are available on our campus, um, I hope we'll uh, set an example for other uh, community uh, organizations and large groups uh, to be able to follow suit uh, to provide these types of safety equipment uh, for members of the community to use. For more information about what's happening at TTUHSC El Paso, visit eptechview.ttuhsc.edu. Guns up. We'll see you next week.